Good afternoon, Loyola Academy from sunny Houston, Texas. I hope all of you are enjoying Catholic Schools Week, and uh, I'm really honored to be asked to come back as a former uh, employee at Loyola, former friend, and uh, former campus minister to ask you guys some of these questions to uh, kind of close your week out. So for the religious round of questions, question number one, what is the ninth commandment? The answer to question number one is, thou shalt not bear false witness. Question number two, to whom does St. Luke address his gospel? The answer, Theophilus. Question number three, who is conceived without sin on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception? The answer to number three is Mary. Question number four. St. Peter was one of Jesus' first apostles and the first pope. What was his name before Jesus renamed him Peter? If you guessed Simon, you're correct. Question number five. Name the great Indian leader who said this, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. The answer for number five, Gandhi. Question number six. There are a few pictures of the current Pope of the Catholic Church hung around the school. What is his name? And you must also get the correct number after his name. For number six, if you guessed Benedict the Sixteenth, you're correct. Question number seven. What was the name of Moses and Aaron's sister? The answer to number seven is Miriam. Question number eight. In the Bible story of David and Bathsheba, David has Bathsheba's husband killed. What was his name? The answer for number eight, Uriah. Number nine. Before he became the apostle to the Gentiles, what religious organization did St. Paul belong to? If you guessed Pharisees, you're correct. And finally, number 10. In Jerusalem, Muslims worship at the place they call the Noble Sanctuary, where they believe the Prophet Muhammad ascended into heaven. What do Christians and Jews believe used to be there? The answer to number 10 is the temple. I hope you guys enjoy your trivia and have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see all of you again.